Hey guys, what's up? This is Karan here, back with a new video, and you're welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. As you can see, I've installed Rev OS Custom ROM, which is based on MIUI 12 and is based on Android 10. is available for Redmi Note 8, as you can see. Rev OS 20.5.7 beta. Actually, I've already made a video on Rev OS 20.5.7 build, but that was a GSI, and you can install that GSI on any device which is treble supported, and almost you can try out on any device. But this one is actually a particular room, it was only for Redmi Note 8. If you have a Gingo device, Redmi Note 8, then you can try and install this build. A lot of things are fixed because this is a ported room, still some bugs are there, but this is almost stable, and you can try this build on a device to use as a daily driver so which are the things you get working which are still the bugs and i'll try to show you the installation also so make sure you watch this video till the end let's get started now Okay, so this is my Redmi Note 8 in which I have installed Rev OS. First of all, we will take a look at the wallpaper. As you can see, Rev OS wallpaper. The wallpaper looks pretty much cool. You can head over to wallpaper section. When you go to system wallpapers, there are a lot of Rev wallpapers available. If you want to try out these wallpapers, these wallpapers look really, really cool. It's just very good thing. You can go and try it out right now. If we talk about some other things, in previous Rev OS build, which was a GSI, you don't get MIUI camera and some other apps from MIUI 12. But in this build, because it is a room, yes, these apps are available. You can install these apps as an additional package. You need this additional package, additional application Rev OS zip to install all of these apps. And I will try to show you how you can. Let me show you the camera first. This one is the camera which is pre-installed or you can install by just installing that package. If we talk about photo, photo mode is perfectly working. If we talk about ultra wide, that is also working perfectly. I'm using it and this is actually MIUI 12 camera. So new features are obviously available and unlocked. You can use macro lens here. That's also working. If we talk about video mode, video shooting is also perfectly working. That's very good thing. But if you talk about portrait, that is not working. Yes, portrait mode is not working, but that's not the big thing because if portrait mode is not working in a stock cam, there's an alternative available, which is Gcam. So that's a very good thing. Gcam is perfectly working. And also one of the best thing is you can use HDR+. That's a very, very cool thing. You can use portrait in Gcam. That is working perfectly. I'm using Gcam 7.2 and that is very, very cool. If we talk about some other things, YouTube is pre-installed, files, I have tried to install Magisk, Magisk was properly working in security app, this one is also from MIUI 12 and looks very very cool and if we talk about some other things, let me show you in settings. I have already shown you all the settings already in the, my previous video. If you have not watched that video, you can just head over there and check out that video. You will surely see which are the things you get here, which are the things you don't get. One of the main thing which is fixed is as you can see on the network bar. If you have watched my previous video, the network was dropping again and again and again. But in this build, I'm using from morning and today it's now 4 p.m. in my country. And as you can see, I am using right now and there is no signal drop here. So that's a very good thing which is fixed. I don't know it is fixed by changing my flashing method or something else. But yes, it is fixed and it is working perfectly. And one of the main thing which is fixed is face log. As you can see, I'm using face log. That's working perfectly. Yep, as you can see, face log is perfectly working. Fingerprint is perfectly working. In all the previous builds of MIUI 12, face log was not working. But in this build, face log is working. So that's a very good thing too. Animations are also pretty much smooth. No lags at all. If you talk about control center, that is also working. But if you want to increase the performance of your device, just it's better to turn off your control center. That would be very good thing. Just go to status bar. You just disable this from here and then your device will be even more fast by just don't use control center and your device will work definitely good or also you have the option of disabling the animations from developer options here let me just show you here 
here it is windows animation scale transition animation scale and animator duration scale these things you can set to 0.5x or off to increase the performance of your device so these are all the settings and if you want a detailed review the detailed review is already available as i already shown you network drop is fixed portrait uh, sorry face log is perfectly working gcam is there stock camera is there so all the things are there and perfectly working no lags at all i'm using from some time it's very very cool i can recommend you to use this build as your daily driver so if you want to install this build how to install this you actually need three files let me just show you wait for a second here it is you need three files additional application rev os 12.zip you need firmware ginkgo and mia 12 rev os 20.5.7 these things you get you need to download if you have downloaded all these things just boot into custom recovery i'm using orange fox custom recovery as already i have shown you that this one is for redmi note 8 only don't try this on any other build because this is not a gsa this is a particular room okay so just follow my all the steps you don't have to worry about anything i am using orange fox custom recovery you can use any other recovery if you want to so we are booted in this custom recovery what we need is just go to wipe section gallery cache system vendor data these five things you have to wipe first just wipe to wipe okay after that what you have to do is just as you can see everything is already done just go to file section go to the location where you have all those three files as you can see i have there these three files you just have to select the firmware first i'm just showing you all the steps i'm not installing it because i need to use this room for some time i hope you can understand that what are the steps the firmware file you need is just swipe to install after installing firmware what you have to do is just go back and then you have to install this room file mi 12 rev os 20.5.7 8 and ginkgo swipe to install you will not face any errors don't worry about that and after installing this you need to install additional application rev os if it is not installing or if it is giving you any errors just go to menu just go to mount option just mount system from here here you can enable system from here and after that go to file and select additional applications swipe to install and after that you can simply go to reboot system if it is not rebooting if it is going back to recovery or else you can simply do a format data from here manage partitions data select here format data yes and you are done this is how you can install this build on your device. This is all from today's video. I hope you like this. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.